Hello everyone, welcome back to Chemistry by Wish. I am your teacher and educator Vishal Nai and today we are going to discuss the topic from analytical chemistry that is terms used in titration. So let's one by one, which terms are used in terms of titration, mein use hote, basic terms. So the first term used in titration that is the titration. So this is the process by which we can actually determine the concentration of unknown solution by titrating it with known concentration solution. So we have two solutions. First concentration we know. Second concentration we determine. But we know the volume. Hai. So by titrating that two one we get a second volume. Or by using this formula N1 V1 is equal to N2 V2. We can actually determine the concentration of unknown one. So, we just we put normality or concentration of known solution, which is volume of titration. Se de. Baad mein hame first, jo unknown concentration solution, hai, uska volume. Pata hota hai. So, by using this formula, we can actually determine the concentration of unknown one. So, this is called as a titration. Then, second term hai, that is the titrant. So, the solution present in the burette or the burette solution is called as a titrant. और ये इस, इस सॉल्यूशन का कंसंट्रेशन हमें नोन रहता है सो द नोन कंसंट्रेशन सॉल्यूशन व्हिच इज प्रेजेंट इन द ब्यूरेट इज कॉल्ड एज टाइट्रन जो सॉल्यूशन ब्यूरेट में प्रेजेंट रहता है उस जिसका कंसंट्रेशन हमें टाइट्रेशन में पता रहता है उसे हम कहते हैं टाइट्रन देन नेक्स्ट टर्म आती है दैट इज द टाइट्रन सो द सॉल्यूशन प्रेजेंट इन द कोनिकल फ्लास्क इज कॉल्ड इज कॉल्ड एज एन टाइट्रन ओके एंड इसका कंसंट्रेशन हमें डिटरमाइन करना पड़ता है ये अननोन कंसंट्रेशन सॉल्यूशन रहता है सो द सॉल्यूशन प्रेजेंट इन द कोनिकल फ्लास्क इज कॉल्ड एज अ टाइट्रन इट इज आल्सो कॉल्ड एज एनालाइट सो बिरेट में रहता है उसे हम कहते हैं टाइट्रन एंड जो कोनिकल फ्लास्क में रहता है उसे कहते हैं हम टाइट्रन ओके देन नेक्स्ट टर्म आती है दैट इज द बिरेट हम सबको पता है बिरेट इज एन अ ग्लास अपरेटस ओके सो इट इज एन अ हॉलो ग्लास अपरेटस व्हिच कंटेन अ स्टॉप कॉक एट वन एंड which controls the flow of this solution or flow of the titrant. So, burette is an elaborate glassware which, which has an, a stock cock at one end. Okay, extreme end may a stock cock right there, which actually controls the flow of the titrant. So, this is called as a burette. Then next term in titration, that is the equivalence point. So, equivalence point is also called as stoichiometric point or theoretical point. So the point in a titration at which the amount of titrant and is added chemically equivalent to the amount of tit amount of substance titrated. In short, that is when the amount of titrant and titrant are both chemically equivalent. So such type of an a point is called as an equivalence point. Okay, means titrant or titrant jab chemically equal rate, equivalent rate. So that point is called as an equivalence point or stoichiometric point or theoretical point. Then next term hai, that is the end point. So the point at which the completion of reaction is practically observed is called as an end point. So end point kya rehta hai? Jab reaction complete hui hai, ye color change se pata chal jata hai. So that point is called as an end point. Okay. So the point at which completion of reaction is practically observed, hama observe kar sakte by color change. So it is called as an end point. Then seventh term that is the titration error. So this is in a simple, simple term. Titration error means the difference between this equivalence point and end point is actually called as in a titration error. So equivalence point or end point may jo difference aata hai, use hai titration error. Okay. So simplified titration error is nothing but that is the difference between the equivalence point and end point. Okay. Then next term indicator. So, we use titration mein indicator always. Use karte. So, this is a substance which actually shows us that reaction is completed by change in color. So, it is a substance which indicates the completion of reaction in a titration by color change or by performing turbidity or by fluorescence. Now, what type of titration is depend on the end point. Kya hai. So, indicator is, it is a substance actually which actually indicates the completion of reaction. Okay, so if you are normal titration, acid based titration, then we will color change, pata chalega, color change, pata chalega, ki reaction complete. If we are precipitation titration, then we will know by formation of turbidity, ki reaction complete. And by 
फ्लोरोसेंट अगर कलर आता है फ्लोरोसेंट अगर चेंज होता है तो भी हमें पता चल सकता है सो दैट सो द सब्सटेंस व्हिच एक्चुअली यूज्ड टू इंडिकेट और आइडेंटिफाई द कलर चेंज और टू आइडेंटिफाई द कंप्लीशन ऑफ रिएक्शन बाय कलर चेंज इज कॉल्ड एज एन इंडिकेटर देन नेक्स्ट टर्म यूज्ड इन टाइट्रेशन जो हमें सबको पता है दैट इज द पीएच सो पीएच की जनरल डेफिनेशन है इट इज द नेगेटिव लॉगरिथम ऑफ एच प्लस आयन कंसंट्रेशन so h plus ion concentration ka negative logarithm means ph okay ye acid strength indicate karta hai ph means acid acid strength so ye ph ka formula that is so ph is equal to minus log to the base 10 concentration of h plus ion then ye terms acid ke acid ke liye use hoti hai then next term that is the poh so iske opposite that is the negative logarithm of oh minus ion concentration is called as a poh which is generally फॉर्म बाय और जनरली इंडिकेट बाय दिस फॉर्मूला दैट इज अ पीओएच इज इक्वल टू माइनस लॉक टू द बेस 10 कंसंट्रेशन ऑफ ओएच माइनस देन नेक्स्ट दैट इज द पीएच स्केल सो पीएच स्केल मींस इट एक्चुअली इंडिकेट्स whether our reaction is acidic basic or neutral or whether our components are acidic basic and neutral so pH scale jo rehti hai ye is type ki rehti hai 0 to 7 means below 7 we say that that is the acidic pH at 7 it is called as a neutral pH Or seven to fourteen, it is called as a base or alkaline pH. So this is a pH scale. The next term that is used in titration that is a pK. So A stands for A indicates that is the acid. It actually used to measure the strength of acid. Yeah, acid ki strength measure करने के लिए use होता है. Whether your acid is strong or weak. So pK term ये use की जाती है. It is equal to minus log of K. Whether K is actually a dissociation, acid dissociation constant in water. जब भी हम एसिड डालते हैं वाटर में तो उसका डिसोसिएशन कॉन्स्टेंट इंडिकेट किया जाता है K. So pK ये जो use होता है that is to measure the strength of acid. Same next term है that is the pKb. So A stands for acid, so B stands for base. So ये term use होती है base strength measure करने के लिए and it is equal to minus log kB. Whether kB is the base dissociation constant. In water, so pKa means acid strength. हम determine करने के लिए use करते हैं and pKa भी हम use करते हैं base strength use करने के लिए base strength determine करने के लिए और measure करने के लिए. The next term आती है that is the buffer solution. So it is the simple term. It is the mixture of a weak acid and its salt or we say that that is the conjugate base. So हम अगर mixture लेते हैं weak acid and उसका salt लेते हैं that is called as a conjugate base. so that mixture is overall called as a buffer solution so this is in a uh, one type of in a buffer solution or agar hum weak base lete hain aur usko mix karte hain uske salt se aur conjugate acid se uske so we say that that is the basic buffer okay so buffer ka use kya hota hai that is actually reduces buffer actually reduces the change in ph agar humko solution ka ph maintain karna hota hai so we add a buffer solution okay Then buffer solution के दो टाइप रहते हैं फर्स्ट इज एसिडिक बफर एंड सेकेंड इज अ बेसिक बफर सो दिस इज एन एग्जाम्पल ऑफ एन एसिड बफर सो एसिडिक एसिड इज एन वीक एसिड और उसका सॉल्ट और कॉन्जुगेट बेस लिया है सोडियम सॉल्ट ऑफ एसिडिक एसिड सो दिस इज दिस मिक्सर इज ओवरऑल कॉल एन एसिडिक बफर और अगर हम वीक बेस लेंगे बेसिक बफर को क्या रहता है दट इज द वीक बेस लेंगे दट इज अमोनियम हाइड्रोक्साइड और उसका सॉल्ट लेंगे दट इज अमोनियम क्लोराइड सो कंबाइनली दिस मिक्सर इज कॉल्ड एन बेसिक बफर so this is all about the buffer solution next term hai hamari acid so sabko pata hai acid kya rehta hai so acid is a substance that actually has a potential to donate a proton jo proton donate karta hai h plus ion donate karta hai aur electron pair acceptor jo electron pair accept karta hai aur jo water mein dalne ke baad h plus ion dissociate karta hai h plus ion mein convert hota hai so use hum kehte hain acid okay so acid two type ke rehte hain first is strong acid and second one that is the weak acid so strong acid means what so an acid with a pk less than 0 jiska pk 0 se bhi less hota hai okay use hum strong acid kehte hain and strong acids are completely dissociated in water so next type rehta hai acid ka that is the weak acid so it has a pk greater than 0 and weak acids do not completely dissociated in water this is strong acids water mein completely dissociated hote hain वीक एसिड्स वाटर में डिसोसिएट अच्छी तरह से नहीं होते और उसका जो एग्जांपल है दैट इज द एसिडिक एसिड सो दिस इज ऑल अबाउट द एसिड देन द लास्ट टर्म दैट इज यूज्ड इन टाइट्रेशन दैट इज द बेस जैसे एसिड रहते हैं दे आर प्रोटॉन डोनर सो 
बेसिस रहते हैं दे आर प्रोटोन एक्सेप्टर सो द सब्सटेंस दैट कैन एक्चुअली एक्सेप्ट अ प्रोटोन व्हिच रिलीज ओएच माइनस एंड डोनेट इलेक्ट्रॉन पेयर आर कॉल्ड एज अ बेसिस एसिड प्रोटोन डोनर रहते हैं दे रिलीज एच प्लस आयन एंड दे एक्चुअली एक्सेप्ट इलेक्ट्रॉन पेयर सो दे आर एसिड्स सो बेसिस आर द सब्सटेंस दैट कैन एक्सेप्ट अ प्रोटोन रिलीज ओएच माइनस और डोनेट एन इलेक्ट्रॉन पेयर सो सच कंपाउंड्स आर कॉल्ड एज अ बेसिस सो बेसिस भी दो टाइप के रहते हैं first is in a strong base and second one that is the weak base so strong bases are the bases with an pkb value less than 0 or this is strong acids water may completely dissociated hote waise strong bases bhi water may completely dissociated hote aur uska example hai anyone and then next type of an a base that is the weak base so weak acid ki pk value greater rehti hai 0 se so weak bases ki pkb value bhi greater rehti hai zero se and weak bases do not completely dissociate in water like weak acids and the example of weak base that is the ammonium hydroxide nh4oh so these are the general or basic terms which are generally we used in the titration so this is all about today's topic thank you thank you so much